Pop It Up Styes for Elizabeth Craft Designs, and today I'll be teaching a tutorial on this. How to make a clear card stand that can be used to prop open your pop-up cards for display. I first started making these nifty little stands last year. I wanted a way to prop up all of the 90 degree pop-up cards that were made by the designer challenge team so that they would stay open in our CHA booth for display. So I just hand cut all these little stands. They worked fantastic. Lots of the retailers were asking me to make a die out of it and so I kind of thought, well, maybe I'll do that, but then, oh, you know, you got to be able to cut really thick plastic and so there's just other stuff that goes into it. So before I make a die, and maybe I will, but I'm not promising, so for now I'm just going to teach you how to cut them by hand. So you guys are crafters, so I'm pretty sure you could just look around and find some blister pack packaging with some nice thick plastic. This came from some Sizzix cutting pads that I had bought for the videos. And you just need a sharp pair of scissors to cut an area of the plastic out of the nice flat portion of the blister pack. And I have cut enough of these that I don't even need to measure. As long as I'm about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half wide and about two and a half inches long, that's going to work perfectly. And really, honestly, just get yourself a little rectangle about that size-ish. Okay, step one is just to fold that piece in half. Now that's big, thick plastic, so you'll have to give it a really good press to get that to fold. And then the second step is just to fold over a big triangle. Now, don't do any measuring, just fold over a big triangle. The only thing I wanna make sure is I don't go all the way to the end with the triangle. I just want it to be a big triangle that uses up most of the space, but not all of it. Then I'm gonna back fold that triangle so that when I open it up, I've basically made the two triangular folds that you see there. And now my next step is just going to be to make that triangle be able to lift up. Now how I do that is I fold it back in half again, I find the tip of the triangle, and I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut right up that diagonal line, but I'm not going to remove the triangle. I'm going to leave a little bit connected out on the ends. Basically that's just going to allow me to lift up the triangle. See that? And it's still connected at the ends. That's it. It's done. The triangle kind of collapses into the piece when you fold it and the little triangle also lifts up so that it can kind of grip on the edge of the card. Now here's why this is helpful. So with a pop-up card, you know, it's hard to get the exact perfect balance to where it's gonna stay open right at 90 degrees. It tends to fall backwards or it falls forward, and you can see it just doesn't hold itself open really super nice all the time. Sometimes it does, sometimes you get lucky. But when you, if you're not lucky, then you can use one of these little clear stands. You can just press the stand to whatever angle you want and it'll hold it open. You really only need one to keep it open and it doesn't matter which side it goes on. So if you find that your embellishments are closer to one side than the other, maybe you can have more room for it on the other side. For some cool pop-up dies to be able to make some cool pop-up cards to use your clear stands, just go to ecraftdesigns.com and look at the pop-it ups line. Karen Berniston Designer on Facebook, give it a like, you'll see daily inspiration. And you can always find more ideas on my blog, karenberniston.com. Thanks for watching.